Hey guys, this is Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port, taking you through a 1999 Formula 382 Fast Tech. Uh, it's one of the first couple model years they started uh, stepping the holes in these boats, and uh, 382 Formula Fast Tech. Uh, it was always kind of known as a gentleman's performance boat. Uh, really nice boat, guys, and this boat's got a lot of cool features uh, that are going to make it pretty unique. First and foremost, so you can see, it's got a great colored paint scheme on it. It's got the uh, dark red with blue, gold, and black trim and board the boat as well, and that carries inside the boat. But it's got a lot of neat stuff. This boat has quite a few features. It's actually got even generator, air conditioning, some pretty cool stuff. Um, the boat does have, mechanically, it's got some pretty big engines in it. Uh, it's got the uh, 502s in it, but what's nice is it does actually have some pro chargers, some superchargers on there. I believe they're stage four and I'll jump open and um, show in there. I think we've got anywhere from three to five pounds. I think we run a little bit around uh, four pounds of boost on it, depending on how the pulleys were set up. But uh, take you through here again, you've got the, uh, the big sun pad across the back of the boat and your standard performance seating. You've got your uh, um, uh, big bench seat in the back back here, uh, stowage down the side, down each side here. You've got your big full McLeod bolster seats with your pistol grips in the back. Again with the McLeod bolsters with the uh, up and down feature which is nice. Um, again standard gaffer controls that you're going to see with the uh, colored bezels. We're showing about 250 to 260 hours on the engines currently. Um, and then stepping down inside the boat down here you've got quite a few. Again typical with performance boats I mean the, the interior of these are extremely 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 clean. Um, you've even got you know a nice little uh, TV with VCR down here. You can switch that out to a flat panel if you'd like. Full vacuum flush head and then again generator with air conditioning down here as you can see here and up on top as well. Additional vents down here. A little sink and then a uh, nice little refrigerator over here in the corner with all your filler cushions in the back back here uh, which should fill in here I believe. Um, taking up the interior up here again um, let me get this engine hatch open for us um, I see some bimini top stanchions. I'll have to check in the back to see if there is a bimini top with it. It looks like it has the stanchions, but whether or not it does or does not have the bimini. Again, guys, it's got a lot of features, I mean, which is going to be pretty unique for Formula 3D2. A lot of these boats were just straight performance boats, whereas this does have, you know, the Gen and AC, which is kind of nice for doing some cruising. Um, stepping back in the engine compartment back here, get this open for us. Um, as you can see again, we've got our 502s that have been modified. We've got our stage four Vortec Pro Charger superchargers down here. Again, I'm not sure what the pulley system set up for is anywhere from three to five pounds of boost. I was thinking there were like four and some, I believe. But you've got all the extra batteries over here on the side, and then you've got your full generator in the back back here to run all your systems, automatic fire extinguisher, everything down here. Um, you know, and not a not a bad setup, you know, I mean with the pro chargers, it's going to be a quick boat guys. Um, you know, typically these with the 502s, you know, they were 70s boats, you know, after having the opportunity to run the boat, I got 80 real fast in the boat. I don't think it's a 90 mile per hour boat, you know, but it is going to be in that, uh, that lower 80s, which is nice. Uh, we do have it priced very aggressively. The owner hasn't had the opportunity to use the boat, so he's just um, selling the boat here with us. Um, there are a couple of things as far as the interior goes that probably do need some attention. Uh, the sun pad, it's got some stitching torn loose. So you see here, coming across here, back open here, into the back, and then across here and here. What that would be to repair, I don't know. I'd want to exchange ideas with the vinyl guy and have them share with us a quote. Uh, we've got a vinyl tear just right back here. That one shouldn't be too bad. And then, um, you know, just some small little stuff, you know, some little, you know, nicks in the vinyl here and coming across the uh, the rope in the side here and then, you know, some small stuff. Oh, actually, that's just dirt uh, down the side down here. Uh, and then as far as the paint goes, um, there was, let me get up around the other side of the boat and get up on top there to kind of share. It looks like there's a little bit of fade in the paint right there um, so again guys uh, it, it, the boat is not perfect it is a used boat um, but I mean if you're looking for a boat that's really unique and another um, kind of rubbing the paint here it looks like as well 
Uh, I mean, if you're looking for something that is really unique uh, with the big performance, with the generator and the air conditioning, I mean, the boat needs a couple things. But again, guys, the other thing I look at is, I mean, if you look at the price point we've got in the boat, I mean, it's got a very, very, very aggressive price point on it. As you can see, I mean, it's gonna be priced you know, pretty well below a lot of the other boats out there. Also extension boxes on the drives as well. Um, so I mean, again, guys, if you're looking for a really unique boat, uh, 382, it's gonna need a little bit of love to kind of get it up shining bright. But I think the owner did approve for us to do a full buff and wax and detail on the boat. So you're seeing it in the initial stages of that. Once we do get it cleaned up, it'd probably be better for me to get some initial photos of that but you know looking at it, i mean it's got a good a good coat and a good shine on it um once we get a good polish and a good cleanup on it you know you really get a good idea what the boat looks like and what it uh what it could potentially be so anyways again this is kyle kelly from kelly sport taking you through 1999 formula 382 fast tech you can catch us online if you're not already our website is www.kellysport.com K-E-L-L-Y-S-P-O-R-T.com. You can email us at sales at kellysport.com or you can catch us here at the marina by telephone at 573-348-4700. Again, Kyle Kelly from Kelly's Port. Thanks for your time. Happy <laughs>